Look more beautiful than ever. Oh, thanks, darling. I'm trying to get that facial hair like you. Yeah, looks good. It's not working, dude. We were speaking about this before, and then you said it's like you you are fighting your own face for facial hair. I am. I am. Yeah, I but am. you win. It's like it's like me against genetics. Yeah. Yeah. But you win it. I don't know. Do testosterone or something. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'll do tons yeah. of testosterone and get facial hair. The rest of me, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose a little bit of, you know. But you have I'm gonna uh, lose a little bit of that, but that's okay. I won't be so. Yeah, you have you have enough to spare, right? So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, still enough to fill with. Yeah. Exactly. But I start this one off first. I'm gonna say, guys, please go subscribe um, and like. Down at, it's at the bottom, right? It's below this video. Please go do that just because we're getting such great response from people. The views are doing well. The previous video did really well. So thank you for all the love on that. Just go like and subscribe and do all that shit it's down at the bottom. Sweet. Let's, and you get to see the beautiful face. And you get to see Mitch more often because Mitch and I are actually going to do a few this week. Um, let's start this off with a bang. We have to Britney, say yeah. it's Britney, bitch. It's Britney, bitch. Somehow. Somehow, Brittany found her way back into the line of the light, bro. She kind of never left, though. She's been like, I mean, it's weird. like, it is weird. She, so, she's been like making videos of her like dancing and stuff, which are terribly which awful. Are horrendous. Yeah, her eyes just look like, like she needs to get a makeup person. Yeah. Uh, one, two, she needs to like. I don't know, bring someone in or like make it uh, interactive or something because her just dancing like she's on stage is not how the internet works. But dude, I, like genuinely, I don't know what to think of this because I feel like I missed the Britney generation. I feel like I just missed it. Like... Actually, we, because you're pretty much the same. I think you're a year younger than me, right? I think, I think, I think we just missed it. I think. I don't know where you were. I was, I was in the Britney. Were I you was in Brit. I was a Britney babe, dude. Nah, dude, I was yeah. far from a Britney babe. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know why. I knew like she had like one or two very like sexy songs, and she was like this beautiful blonde woman. I mean, she still is very beautiful. It just feels like she's gone through a couple of meltdowns. In which case, I mean, she has fair enough. But like she always has been in the limelight. It always has been Britney and the crazy shit that she's getting up to. Like yeah, I, sure. I, I, I can't think back to a year where there wasn't some form of like Britney calendar. I don't know what you mean by that. So like it was like 2002, Britney had her meltdown. 2003, oh. Britney did this. 2004, and then everyone's Five, always like, four. I feel like 2002, Britney. I'm like, I don't know who that is. Well, she, yeah, she went, I think she went so far off the deep end that like everything just kind of blended together. And now there is no timeline. It's just Britney was cool and now she lost her mind. But don't you feel sorry for her? Of course I do, yeah. I mean, I, like, it's like, super I tough. Really to do. Yeah. It, it's super tough to be a celebrity, one. And then on top of that, you like, the the top celebrity like yeah. everyone knows who is and then i don't know like did anything happen to her did she get into like drugs or was it just like pure fame that dude i that... like i genuinely have no idea I, I i don't know what happened i don't know and, and and this is the thing i feel like it always goes one of like one of two ways it either goes things go really well and you become really famous and you make so much money that I think you become bored and you're like, okay, I guess I'm gonna, yeah. you know, race a car, smoke a joint, or do whatever. Or well, like you have, you have like, you have everything you want, right? You have all the money in the world, and you have, like, 
you have what every human wants, which is attention. And you have so much of it that it's not normal. And you think it is normal. So then you start acting like it is normal. And then that is when it's like done for you. Maybe, because then, um, you, then you become like not human anymore. I'm kind of hoping that she makes a comeback. Yeah. Well, like if she gets out of this, so apparently what I've been reading recently is she's been in like almost house arrest with oh. her manager and her father yeah. who have like controlled every aspect of her life. Yeah. Which I'm assuming they thought was a good idea because she went off the deep end. And I think it's backfired in every way possible, which is expected. Yes. And then someone in her Instagram, uh, they wrote a comment saying, hey, Brittany, if you need help, wear a yellow top. Wait, dude, this blew my in mind. Her, in her next video. And then in her next video, she went she out of her way. The yellow, la, la, la. She wore the yellow top and she went out of her way to like make it explicit. Like, hey, look at this new top I'm wearing or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, dude. Someone's got a free Britney Spears. It, it's kind of, it, it reminds me of um, Amy Winehouse. It was, an, yeah. it was and still is an absolute legend. I'm a huge Amy Winehouse fan. There's, oh, there's an artist, oh. I don't want to get this wrong, but I think she's from New Zealand or Australia called Jen Wingmore. I don't know if you know who she is. Dude, her voice is, it's so dope. It's she has the most incredible voice, and she reminds me so much of Amy Winehouse. Um, mm. And obviously, I have all of Amy Winehouse's music, which is an absolute beast. But Jen Wingle reminds me so much of her, so I've kind of like found a little bit of Amy in the more modern music, which is awesome. So, everyone go listen to her, uh, Jen Wingle, she's amazing. Um, I feel like the same thing happened with her, where her dad was so active in her life, I think, out of the documentary that I watched, and they were like go to rehab and she was like i said no no like apparently that was an actual thing where everyone was like you need to go to rehab and she was like i'm not going to do it and then her dad became super involved in her life yeah i don't know i don't know, I, I don't know what the right answer is and what the wrong answer is i just know that britney has been on house arrest for ages yeah. she burnt her gym down because she lit two candles yeah which is incredibly tough to do which is also yeah. an absolute bullshit story what is your gym equipment made out of wood? Yeah, like, legit. And like how? floors are made out of like, do you just pour gasoline on your floors and then yeah. like candle? Yeah. Yeah, like smell or something. She just wears gasoline because it makes her skin glisten while she yeah, trains. Maybe, yeah. Maybe she was in such like bad withdrawals from drugs that she was like, let me just pour gasoline all over my gym so I can huff the fumes, dance. And then she was like, oh, let me light two candles because she was high on gasoline fumes. And then I mean, burnt it. it. It could go that way. It's just I don't know, dude. Like, if, I like, you, Britney conspiracies, why not There's add that so one? many of them, dude. Yeah. No, I do, I do feel bad for her. I really do. I also do. I genuinely do. And it's almost like there's a certain, obviously the internet like makes everything funny nowadays. Like her meltdown of her like shaving her hair. Yes. Best case scenario, the internet makes it funny. Yes. And that's why I'm kind of <laughs> like, the internet's always going to win. There's always going to be someone out there that brings out like a fire meme and you can like see the humor in it. I don't know if the person in the meme sees the humor as much as everyone else does. Yeah. But I think... Usually, usually not. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I think if, if I had to give it... If I had to give it a theory... And we had to have like the story time theory. Hmm. Maybe she's doing this to herself. She's like, so the theory is that her dad and her manager are, are have put her on house arrest. Yes. Maybe her manager was like, hey, listen, you kind of lost it. Just a little bit. <laughs> just, yeah. just a tad. Yeah. No, just one a really little. Knows, no one really knows who I am. And your dad has never been like a huge part of your life. I'm just saying this 
straight up my ass. I don't know if this is true. Okay. Straight up my ass is usually the best way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just fire, just go for it. Get out then is what they say. There we go. Uh, That's in Shrek. Yeah, that is in Shrek. Better out than in is why I'm there. So he's sitting at the table eating soup. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Um, maybe her manager was like, hey, listen, let's build this conspiracy for the next few years. We're not going to make it obvious and we're not going to make it like, like, overtly this is what's happening but we're going to do it and it's going to be so subtle that no one really knows if it's true or not but it will give people a reason to be sorry for you instead of hate on you and like say you need help and stuff so we're going to kind of move the 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 blame to me and your dad and then you will be fine and your career will be respawned and everything will be okay. I mean, it could happen. That's my theory. So, so you think that they basically took her out of the, out of like sense de- of attention, flipped the whole story on everyone. Yes. And then they're gonna throw her back in. They, so they're yeah. basically rebranding. They, they're rebranding in the most diabolical way possible, which is Pretty kind of theory. on brand. It's a pretty good theory. Just a thought. Or maybe she's just it's really a pretty good theory. I mean, I look at like Paris Hilton, who's now a DJ, right? Is she? Yeah, oh, dude, apparently she's a DJ at like Ibiza, mm. which is pretty fun. She... I mean, I take my hat off to her for that, right? Like, Honestly, that's pretty yeah. sick, right? She's worth tons yeah. of money. She's now a DJ. She's having the biggest party of her life. I watched that show, White Lines. Have you seen it? No. It's really good. Is it about cocaine? Yes. So, it's basically a brother and a sister. The brother feels like he isn't living up to life's expectations or his own expectations of life and disappears to Ibiza to go be a DJ and then he gets murdered slash killed in Ibiza. Our sister's like, I'll find the killer. And then she goes to Ibiza and she basically just Ibiza-rears it up and just like does tons of drugs and just parties and like hooks up with dudes and stuff like that. But like stays motivated and stays dedicated the whole way through and like kind of bounces and navigates through all the bullshit to kind of find out like how her brother died. It's really good and her performance is incredibly good. I really mm-hmm. enjoy it. She's a fire actress. Um, really talented. So it's really good. So go watch it. It's, it's fire. But to get back to Britney Spears, I'm trying to think of like what theory I could put together that explains Britney. So maybe she's an alien. Well, I've I've read things that apparently she's a hologram, and this is no bullshit. I've genuinely read stories where because I mean you only ever see her on video. Yeah, true. Think about it. And yeah. we've never seen her dad, and we've never seen her manager. Alien. Aliens Maybe. don't have all managers. I'd like to think, a, like an alien could have a manager. An what alien. if an alien gets in and he becomes like the superstar with the way that social media goes, he probably would be. Well, yeah, aliens control everything so they can do that easily. Exactly. They probably have like Scooter Braun as their manager. They'd be like, peace. Mm. Make tons of cash. I don't, I don't think even aliens would want Scooter Braun as their manager. Apparently, he's a really good manager. Really? Yeah. Didn't he like steal millions of dollars from Taylor Swift? Yeah, but apparently, oh, dude, I don't know. There's so many theories, dude. Apparently, he did do that, but apparently, like, the way that it happened was Mr. Jay Bizzle went and bought all of Taylor's music because he has that much cash and was like, peace, now you don't even own your own music, and that's how they stole her money. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It, it- I think it usually happens like that. Like they, like a a music company signs, I don't know what I'm talking about. So if I'm butchering, I'm sorry, but a music company like signs an artist and gives them the resources and the equipment and everything to, to produce music and the producers and all that stuff. And then they own 
the master copies of the music and then they get paid yeah. and then the the artist get gets paid a percentage of whatever the music makes right and then i think taylor was like getting skimped or something or she wasn't getting her money or she wasn't getting the money she was promised or something like that and then when she tried to get out of it they wouldn't give her her music and then that's why i don't know it's, it's complicated either way i think scooter braun is a dick is really? what came is what came out of this yeah he might be a good manager and like signs really good talent but at the end of the day he's a dickhead to the talent i think i could be i don't know i i i watched that whole like jb documentary on youtube it was like, a whole bunch of episodes on like Who's his JB? life him and Haley, justin bieber oh. um dude it's been through some emotional shit dude like he has 300 million dollars when he's 20 years old that's a lot of cash dude how much money that's so much that, money that is Fuck you, money. Dude, that is, that's like. That's fuck everyone, money. Yes, yes. That's like the government says this and you're like, yeah. No, like, yeah. no. Like, thanks, <laughs> but no. More, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like Jeff Bezos, or however you say his name, Be- Bezos, Be- Bezos. Je- Bezos. Bezos. What the fucking amount of money he has, it should be Bezos. So he's, he, I, don't, huh? I, don't I don't like him. I mean, I, I don't know him, but like out of what I've seen, he's a, he seems like a pretty sketchy dude. But I also don't want to say that and then post this and then the government's like, that kid. What? And then like Amazon stops delivering all my goods just because I said Jeff Bezos is Jeff Bezos. You know, like, I don't know. <laughs> you know that could be like suddenly none mm-hmm. of my stuff arrives. Yeah, you need that shelf from like Amazon that you got off on a sale, you know? Exactly. You need those dude, he did you know that he sits on the board at the Pentagon? Yeah, well, How a lot. How crazy a lot of, is that? A lot of company, a lot of like big CEOs do that. They don't, they don't sit on like the board or whatever, but they like advisors, kind of. You think Britney like, sits on that board? Definitely. I, I think so too. Dude. I think if, everything's a farce. Okay everything well most things so so, so i think <laughs> I, I think really except this podcast this podcast is legitimate and good and you should like and subscribe anyway there we go bang that was a really good drop dude i, I, I like that one well done well done well that was a really good one um maybe everything is a farce maybe this maybe it's like all like all a pretense and she was just like dude i'm so tired of the public i'm so tired of fame i'm gonna go I chill at home to- in my giant house that when yeah. I'm bored, I'm just gonna burn the one room down just because smile and wave and just continue. She was like, cool, I'm gonna burn, you know, like, imagine trying to control someone with that much money and like that much past history and that much emotional strain over all those years. I don't think she cares, dude. And I think at the end of the day, the public shouldn't oh, care either. You know what I'm saying? I think like now it's kind of at a point. Did we just compare Britney to Jeff Bezos? Bezos. I think Pfizer. we did. I think we did. Pfizer. I think we did. I guess. Sure. I mean, there's some relation there somehow. I mean, we're here now. Let's Dude, maybe let's they all chill together at parties and, you know, she's like Amazon yeah. guy and he's like, Britney bitch chick. Bit? Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know, dude. I don't know what the relations could be, but like, maybe, maybe she got so tired of the fame. And like being mm. in public that she was like peace out Oaks. I'm gonna go sit at home and just do my own thing maybe she doesn't even want this attention and like the paparazzi and the public and everything although she does keep posting videos of herself dude, yeah, and the, the videos are weird dude that's what I'm saying they're, they're hot. so weird it, it, it's almost like she's reading off a teleprompter but the teleprompter is also telling her how to feel yeah and it's it's, it, it's and, almost and like the there's teleprompter. And the teleprompter did her makeup. Yes. Yeah. Blindfolded and backwards. And I mean, look, she doesn't want to wear makeup, don't wear makeup. That's what I'm saying. But like, she's always been the person to be like an advocate for that kind of stuff, I think, right? So it kind of, I think, goes with the image that she doesn't. But whatever, I don't know. Wear if you want to, wear if you don't want to. But 
May, I, I feel like she rocked up in front of camera and they were like, Brittany, we're doing a video right now, turn around and go. And they were like, here's all the blocking. And she's, she's reading, like, like, she's she's like reading the blocking as she's like saying stuff. And she goes, okay. And they're like, one take, that's all we need. Sweet, peace, go back to the gym. Cheers. Yeah, she's on it. And also, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. If, if someone, yeah. if I post up a live video, and someone was like, if you need help, wear purple. Guarantee you that next video, full purple. Yeah. Maybe she's talking Barney about the happy dinosaur in that bitch, dude. I am full purple that next video. Just to mess with people. I'd do Very it. Very Yeah. I, yeah, I wonder if she was just messing with people. I don't know. I We should get, we should like petition the FBI to investigate. I think that should be like, the goal of this podcast until it happens. We are now the free Britney podcast. That's pretty dope. Yeah, I'm I mean, we're the free Britney podcast if she wants to be free. Look, you know, liberate. Like, if she could just give a shout out and be like, guys, I'm fine. I don't want to be free. They'd be like, all right, cool. Who are we free next? Do you think everyone addresses her or like whenever she pitches up somewhere, somewhere, people are just like, it's Britney, bitch. Like, well, they don't even say, hi, Britney. Like, welcome. So good to see you. They're like, it's Britney, bitch. And then she's like, ah. That's a really good question. I feel like, you know, the guy from uh, Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad? Yeah. Absolutely he's legend cool. of an actor, dude. He's such a beast. Um, such a good actor. Super awkward in real life. But I love that about that dude, though. Really? Yeah, dude. He's got like quite a cool mystique to him. It's really sick. Um, yeah. yeah. But um, he says that apparently, because he, he 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 drops that line in the show. He goes, "Science, bitch." You know that like line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And apparently, break. anywhere he goes, people are just like, "Science, bitch," all the time at him, and he's like, "I'm so tired of getting called bitch all the time." So yeah. he's he's kind of on that Britney train, you know. But like anywhere you go, people call you bitch. Mm-hmm. Don't the black eyed peas like, also like say something iconic about bitch? I don't know. The first song know. that comes to mind for me is that Meet me halfway. Right at mm-hmm. the borderline is where I'm going away. On you. <laughs> What's that? I love, uh, that song. I love that song. Dude, they came out with a banger on there. Like, what was the, that one where. Um, all of them are in like a lounge and everything's going slow motion. Everyone's like jumping on couches and like proper going like tits off the wall with it. Dude, I'm blanking right now. Do you know which one I'm talking about? Wait, I'll Google it quickly. It was one of my favorite music videos. So dude, I was the biggest fan of Fergie. And yeah. not like in like a weird way. Probably in a weird way because I was young. But I was the biggest fan of Fergie because a family member bought me Fergie CD for Christmas. And it was one of my first CDs. So I had the Nickelback dark horse cd i had the drake take care cd which is still one of the best one of my favorite albums i had the fergie album the one about big girls don't cry love that jam and there was another album that i had as well but those were like my three like thinking back i can recall those three i didn't even have black eyed peas i was all fergie dude i was her biggest fan genuinely we were- see then, maybe that's I was- why i wasn't I- a britney like a britney babe I was yeah. a Fergie fan. Yeah, but uh, they were different people with different music. But they were in the same I, era, right? Yeah, pretty much. I think Fergie just aged better. But like, yeah, bro, we were on different wavelengths. Like, I was listening to like Michael Jackson and like the Bee Gees and like really? Robin Williams. Yeah, like okay, the CD. Robin Williams I, is fire. And Linkin Park. Dude, you and I went to the Linkin Park concert together. Oh, I forget. I always forget that. that I was, remember going to that, but I don't remember you being there with me. That's fantastic. Sorry, but like that's just true. <laughs> we, went, we went with my dad, right? And we sat like right at the top we of the stadium. We sat right at the back, yeah. And it was so fucking loud. Yeah, and it, like I just remember looking down. It was the first concert I ever went to, which is one of the biggest blessings in my life. That I saw yeah. Linkin Park as my first concert because I'm the biggest fan of Linkin Park. And I just remember seeing a sea of people 
and yeah. every single song the crowd would just move according to the song and i was like this is the best thing ever yeah like this music needs to live on forever and i genuinely think it will um wait yeah, there... this is the song that i'm thinking of yeah I think this one, one, dude, this one gets me some kind of other way, dude. What's the other one? I think it's... Nope. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Not strong. Like, are, are, you, are you always that guy? <gasps> Remember the Gorillaz? Damn, I was a fan of the Gorillaz. No, no, I don't think I'd know a single Gorillaz song. You don't know the Gorillaz? I know of them, and I know that they have that weird um, mascot. This one, this uh, one. I probably know this song. Oh god. Yeah. You do know this one? Oh, I know this song. And it goes like... It goes like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, that was they the best rendition I could do of, of the Gorillaz. <laughs> um, what was I going to say about, about, about Black Eyed Peas? Dude, it, don't you think it's like really fire that Will I Am is William? Yeah. Oh. Were you this many days old when you discovered that? Yes. I think that's the dopest thing ever. Will I Am. Will I Am doesn't really make sense. Oh no, Will I Am. Yeah, he kind of like yoded his name. Whoa. Damn dope. true. It's dope, dude. Thanks for sharing, like, that's really, yeah, yeah. that, wow. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. If you, if, if you okay. promise to never forget that I was at the Lincoln Park concert with you, I'll give you more knowledge. Okay, what more knowledge do you have? What more do I have? Please enlighten me. Enlighten you? Because I've known you for a long time, and knowledge, it's in and out. It's very in and out. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even gonna deny that, dude. Knowledge is very in and out. I don't know, dude. Like, I, 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 I feel like you and I have always been those guys. Like, you, I mean, you studied what um, electrical engineering and stuff, right? Computer science. Computer, no, but you were in electrical engineering and moved into computer science. Mechanical. Mechanical but, engineering. Sorry. Okay, forgive me. Yeah, I pay attention, dude. I feel like Knowledge. you were the Chandler of the group. You know how no one knows what Chandler does, like as work. 